Hello, right, today's video is all about this desk and we're going to pimp it slightly. Now, you might remember seeing this desk being built in a previous video. It is an IKEA rolled off height adjustable desk. Um, I'll stick a link in the corner to the video of me building it and I've been really happy with it. I've had it for ooh, five months or so now and it's done me really, really well. Now, we're going to change things up a little bit because of the monitors. Now, the monitors themselves are fine, they do me well. I would like to upgrade them a bit in the future. I'd like to get them off the desk because at the moment you can see they're on stands and that's fine, but it takes up a bit of desk space and I think it'd look a bit cooler if they were kind of floating on the desk. And also, I'd like to put a third monitor up there in the middle just for some extra screen real estate and that will help me while I'm working. So the plan is to put a monitor arm on the desk. Now the thing is with IKEA desks is they're not actually a solid piece of wood. They've usually got a wooden frame with a sort of honeycomb inside and then the sort of thin layer of desktop on the top. So I've got no idea whether this will actually break my desk, well the desktop specifically, but we will find out. So uh, yeah I've got a nice monitor arm that I got from Amazon. I actually use my little hack um, which I talked about in a few videos ago so I'll put a link to that video up in the corner and I'm quite pleased with the arm and it sort of does everything I want it to do in theory but what we're going to do in this video is try and attach it to the desk and uh, put the monitors on and basically hope and pray that it all works. So I think what I'll do is I will sit at the table now and open up the monitor arm box and see if we've got everything we need and just have a little peruse and talk about it more. So let's switch to the table and continue this video. Okay, well, we've got the monitor arm here in this box. It's a very heavy box. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just open the box, have a little look through, make sure we've got everything and uh, try and suss out how we can get it onto there. Okay, so we've got, you know, fairly, uh, comprehensive looking instructions so it can either be installed by a clamp that goes on the edge of the desk or a grommet through the desk i don't think i'm going to screw through the desk um, largely because i don't want to put a hole in the desk and also as i mentioned i don't know how strong the surface of the desk actually is so um, yeah i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the desk clamp install and I will have a piece of wood underneath the clamp just to sort of distribute the weight a bit. Hopefully that'll work. What we got, what we got, what we got? All the things. Ah, that's handy, look. I like that. So the instructions reference everything having a letter assigned to them. And look, all the parts seem to have letters on their bags. Well, most of them do. I like things like that. It just makes life a little bit easier when it comes to installing it. So uh, here is the clamp that goes on the desk. And I presume you can alter the thickness. So if you've got a really thick, chunky boy desk, you can change this accordingly so this is the bit that goes on the desktop which the pole will go on to that's actually got quite a large surface area which is quite good and i think what i will do is definitely get a piece of wood between my desk and here because there's a slightly smaller surface area here and i think if i have the weight sort of all squeezed into that that might end up going through my desk so yeah i'm going to get a bit of chipboard just a small bit and then just put it in between to take the weight but this nice big handle to alter the tightness which is good mm. i mean it all seems to be there and it does seem to have little tools for the tasks as well right so these are the plates that fit on the back of the monitors i think they've got a visa 75 and visa visa 100 mountings and what is actually quite cool about these is you can put these onto the back of the monitors 
and then lift the monitors and slot them into place. I have had arms before where you've not had that and you've had to sort of build the arm and the and attach the monitor at the same time. It's been a bit precarious, but I like that you've got these panels that just go onto the back of the monitor and then hook into the stand. Oh, okay, and this seems to be the guy that you use if you want to screw through the desk. As I say, I don't really want to put a hole in the desk, but I like that it comes with that option. It's, um, it's good to have options and it's all included in the price, which is very helpful. Yeah, so that's all the fixings, which I will never get back into the box properly. Do -do -do. Let's have a look at the other box. I imagine the other box is just gonna be poles. Yeet that carefully out of shot. So yeah, I think this is gonna be the poles in here. Considering this has been sold as a used product, it's brand new. Everything's sealed. Everything's in its bags and everything. Though, you know, there are real bargains to be had on Amazon, without question. You know, got the brand on, Subtech. It does feel quite sturdy and weighty. Aha. So the poles clearly screw together. I mean, it looks like I'm gonna go and smack someone over the head with this. Don't leave any bad comments. Leave nice comments. Go on, leave a nice comment in the comment section right now. Say something nice, anything nice. Your hair looks good today, Kip. I like the top you're wearing, Kip. And the, ah, this is the arm. <laughs> so uh, pretty straightforward. That goes onto the pole, tighten it up, and then you uh, plop your monitors on the end of it. It's. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. So you can actually do this the other way around. So you can have the two monitors on the top and one monitor on the bottom, but I want two on the bottom, one on the top. That sounds wrong. So yeah, it feels like quite a sturdy, well-made piece of kit, but will it feel like that when it's screwed onto my desk and had some monitors on it? Well, I guess the next part is to clear the desk, get the monitors ready, and get this installed. So, um, hmm, let's do that. So my desk is looking a little clearer now. Now what I've done is I've got a tape measure at the back of the desk because I want this exactly in the middle. So my desk is 140 centimeters, so half of that is 70 centimeters. So I need to make sure that the clamp goes in the middle there. So, uh, Let's get the clamp ready to use. First up, we need to build the arm and uh, the bits we need for this part is the bit that goes on the desk and these three little guys and then the base of the pole. And now this is the one with the logo on. It has got these three screw holes at the bottom. Now, weirdly, the logo seems to be pointing at the back which doesn't make any sense, but you know. Slightly fiddly. If you get it started with your fingers, then you can use your tool later. That's what she said. Just go around tightening them up one by one. Don't just do one all tight and then the others just gradually Work your way around, tightening it up. Do you want your arm to be straight? There we go, that's the finished uh, pole mounting. So there we go. Now we need to decide on the thickness of the desk and how it's gonna work with the other half of the clamp. So you can basically position this to uh, make room for even the chonkiest of desks. Now, even with my desk and a little bit of reinforcement wood, 
I would say that we just need to put it on its smallest setting. But obviously it depends what thickness of desk you've got. And again, start these off with your fingers and then when they're a bit too tight for your fingers, get it all out. Like with the base of the pole, you just switch between the two. There we go, so there's our bracket, all assembled for our size of desk. I mean, it does seem to suggest that it can take quite a thick desk. So uh, yeah, even if you're not doing this on an Ikea desk and you've got a chunky old desk, it should just be fine. Okay, so now we need to get it mounted on said desk. Right, so we're going to need a little bit of slack. And what I've done is I've cut a spare off cut of wood to distribute the weight across. Now, obviously this depends on what your desk is made of, but because this IKEA Rodolf desk is a bit of an unknown quantity, I think it's sensible. I did think about having a piece of wood at the top here, but that might just ruin the aesthetic. So if we use this bit of wood underneath, the head of the clamp has got a lot more surface area to clamp onto. So now we just tighten it up. And again, you want it tight, but you don't want to destroy your desk. So uh, if the wood starts creaking, you've done it too tight. There we go, one pole successfully mounted onto the desk. It feels pretty sturdy. Um, now I need to put the upper pole on. And that just seems to go into the top here. And I think behind the back here, there's an Allen screw that needs tightening up. There we go. Yeah, that's looking uh, pretty poly. <laughs> I'm pleased with how that's looking. So now we've got to get on the cable management bits and the actual arms themselves. So you might be wondering why these holes are around the top of the cable management clamps. They're not for cables to go through, they're for the Allen keys that come with this to slot into. So uh, you don't need to be chasing around for tools, you can just slot the Allen keys into there. And if you need to adjust it at any time in the future, then uh, the tools are ready. I think that's a cool idea. So now it's time to install this, which is the uh, arm itself. And obviously this goes through that. Now I think you have to hand mount it so the heads of these are facing upwards. It's very vague in the instructions but I think that's how it works. Sort of wiggling it down to position. Now I'm going to leave it there like that for now because the height of it will really depend on where the monitors fall. So I think what I'll do is uh, we'll get the mounting plates onto the monitors so we can sort of work things out a bit. So let's uh, go back to the desk and get the monitors on the mounting plates. Okay so these are the monitor mounting plates that are supplied. Now this bit needs to be at the top and uh, yeah obviously it needs to be facing outwards towards you because you don't want it pressing in towards your monitor. So uh, I think these go like that. So my monitor actually comes with screws to mount plates onto. Um, it might be that yours doesn't. If it doesn't you can use the fixings that are supplied with the monitor arm. Don't go too crazy because if you use some of the longer threaded bolts you might end up puncturing the screen, which does happen. So yeah, just take it easy and uh, hopefully you should be all right. So let's get these onto here with a little bit of magic. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. There we go. So it's all fixed on. Don't go absolutely mad tightening these up, um, but you know, I think that's firm enough. Let's double check. I wonder if it loose. There we go. Now uh, I'll just explain how the adjustment of these works on the arm because it's quite clever. 
Okay, so that is the monitor head as it is, and you want to mount the monitor on it. And I'll show you how that works without the monitor because it's just easier to show you. So it just slides on like that. And this little screw here has got a Allen key head in it, and you can adju actually adjust it up and down depending on the level of the monitor. So it's got a very granular monitor adjustment on there, which I think is really smart. Um, but let's get these two bottom monitors on. Oh, and don't forget, you can put the cable management clips on the arm as well. There's two for each side. Now we can get the monitors on. Well, we are getting there. Testing, testing. Yeah, we are definitely getting there. It needs a bit more fine adjustment on those two monitors, but I'm really happy with how it's looking. And it's quite cool just how much space it's freed up under my desk. That is pretty mad. That's quite handy. So I'll be able to push my stream deck back and also the uh, Echo Show. So now we've got to get the top monitor mounted. Now the top monitor is actually different from these two. I've got the Spider Pro Color Calibrator, which I will uh, use on the monitor. Um, I've done a video about that. I'll put a link to it up in the corner. But yeah, that will uh, help make the monitors all look roughly the same color. So uh, yeah, let's get this top bracket on and go from there. Okay, so here's the top bracket. It goes on top of the pole and um, yeah, you've got to make sure that the little adjustment guy is pointing upwards. Where it finally sits will really depend on how you want the monitor. If you want to have the monitor twisted round into a portrait position, then you'll probably have it nearer the top. I don't think I'm gonna do that for now. Um, I might do that at a future date but I think I'm just going to have it uh, landscape like the rest of the monitors. Let's get it on. That might be a little bit low, but we'll see in a second. Wow, there we go. That is it about done. I just need to do a little bit of tidying of the cabling and a little bit of fettling, but I'm really pleased with that. That looks really cool. And I just love the space that it's created under the monitors. It looks proper smart. I think something that's important to check is actually if the desk is able to move up and down with this new weight on it. I hope so, let's give it a go. Yes, yes it does. Yeah, I mean, there's a bit of wobble. But it's not hideous. It's okay. I don't think it would bounce if you were typing. Yeah, that's working all right. It doesn't seem to be groaning under the pressure. It's not tilting or tipping. Yeah, it definitely seems to be working. Awesome. Right, let's go to the table and finish up. So there you go, for about 60 pounds, I've added a triple monitor arm onto my IKEA Rodolf desk, and it's working really well. I think it's definitely a good idea to use a piece of wood underneath the bracket just to give it that extra bit of support, but there's definitely been no sign of creaking or cracking as I've altered the monitors and changed the angles and stuff like that. So it does seem to be quite solid. I've also, used, I've also used the data color guy to uh, get all the colors matched on all the monitors so they don't look wildly different, which was a sort of a bit of a bugbear with using a different brand of monitor. But although it doesn't entirely show on the screen, they are very nicely color matched and I'm very happy with how it works. So that has been very successful. Now, just because it's worked on my Rodolf desk, it doesn't mean it will work on every single IKEA desk, but I think you should be in luck, especially if you add that bit of wooden support. So, hmm, hopefully you'll be able to do the same with your desk. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, then please do give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. But for now, it's game over.